Got our next phone call here, sponsored by GoDaddy.com. Save 10% on your next order by using the coupon code CHRIS. This is Chris. Listen to me, not the live video feed. There's something called a delay. What? Oh, hi. Oh, hi. What? Mute the video stream! Hi, Chris. Um, I, this is Alex Lupart. Oh, hey, Alex. What's going on? Hey, um, so I was wondering um, your thoughts on Tumblr versus WordPress. I just um, moved my blog over to Tumblr. What are your thoughts? Uh, Tumblr's not open source, which, uh, you know, hey, it's, it works well. Uh, it's nice. Okay. Uh, it's always up. Um, I guess that's a benefit. Um, I'm always leery about locking myself into, uh, you know, systems that don't really provide me a benefit. Uh, and Tumblr would be one of those types of systems. You know, I, it's uh, easy to get, a, you know, WordPress running. It's easy to find a web host that has, uh, you know, WordPress. You could even use WordPress.com. It's one of the reasons why we set up premium.lockernome.net is specifically to help people get running with their WordPress blog. But Tumblr yeah, really... Um they're, they're not offering anything. What are they? What really are they offering? Well, um, I love WordPress. I love their functionality, but I love Tumblr's, you know, uh, you can have icons next to everything and their quick posting functionality. Is there any way I can, like, put that into WordPress? I wouldn't be surprised if there was a plugin that mirrored the functionality uh, of what Tumblr's doing. Uh, of course, Tumblr's got a dedicated uh, set of uh, developers and, and designers working on it, and WordPress is a different beast altogether. Uh, it's not to say that Tumblr's horrible. I've got a Tumblr account as well, uh, but it's uh, it's not really, you know, in, in terms of dramatically different. Not that much different than what most people are going to experience with, you know, WordPress or even Posterous to a, a limited degree. Any one of these quote unquote blogging platforms, and it may look good, but where's it going to be a year from now? What happens when another company acquires it? What happens if it disappears? You're not going to have a lot of those worries with something like WordPress. WordPress is going to continue to improve. Yeah. Um, do you, are there any um, iPad apps um, that you recommend for WordPress? Yes, the WordPress app. And are there any others? Uh, no. A WordPress app is free, and, and it works uh, just fine. As a matter of fact, I, I have it installed here. Let me go ahead and... I've got it at the right angle. I may have to turn it around here since it's got the glossy screen. Uh, give me a second. It's going to launch it. I don't have many app, uh, iPad apps at this point in time, but this was a surprise that the WordPress app was one of the first updated. I can uh, manage multiple WordPress blogs. I've got the list of uh, recent posts here. I can tap any one of these and then go in and edit the text uh, on that side. I can also moderate comments. Uh, it looks like I can also edit and create pages. So it's it's just a, a simple management tool for the content on any one of your blogs, at least the ones that are running WordPress. So if I had a recommendation, it would be uh, certainly uh, the WordPress app for either the iPhone or the iPad. All right, thank you. Um, one last question. Sure. Um, do you recommend any other blogging platforms? Are there any other ones that you've used and have had a good experience with? You know, having used a lot of them, um, for raw blogging, quite honestly, it's WordPress and then everything else. Okay. To Thank me. So and and, and it's not to take away from the powers, uh, you know, that, that exist inside of other blogging platforms. Drupal isn't a blogging platform. It's a CMS uh, toolkit, if you will, a series of pipes that you have to assemble. Blog, blogging is just another tool inside it. Joomla is a framework. That's not a blogging tool. Expression Engine is more of a, a larger CMS than just a simple blogging tool. Some people swear by it, uh, you know. But you know, for for me and for everything that, that I've seen and have been able to to do, WordPress, despite its level of frustrations, not being able to find decent WordPress developers or designers out there, uh, you know, has led me to believe that I need to find something else. And every time I go uh, looking, uh, I always keep coming back to WordPress.